Well, welcome back, everybody. We are continuing on our adventure. Our adventure through Hyrule. And it does rule. It is I, your host, Daniel. Uh, and yes, this is Tears of the Kingdom. You've clicked on the right video. Uh, and we're, we're moving right along, aren't we? So we've upgraded our gear. Um, and we're about to go see if we're going to be able to uh, take on Ganon. Phantom. Phantom Ganon. Um, real quick, I want to cook some food. Is that going to be possible in the rain? I'm actually not sure if that's possible in the rain. Hey, they're all here. Oh, the rain stopped, so that's good. Where is somewhere I can cook? Here we go. Hey, perfect time. And there's a bunny. Like it. Yeah, careful there, killer. You are about to hurt yourself. Uh, hold on, bunny. Nope, not like that. We want to go. Jump. Nope, not like. Oh, and there's the balloon dude. That we we're saying we want. There we go. Give me some reds. Wow, he doesn't drop any more after a certain second. I just wasted a bunch of arrows. Okay, okay. Uh, I was gonna cook some meat in that uh, cooking receptacle. Um, but first I wanna check this out, cause look at this. This is just, how can you not look at this? Oh, this guy, I seem to remember him. You're goofy, aren't you? Oh <laughs> yeah, Kilton. Can I help you? Whoa. <laughs> uh, enemy, right? This looks like a Martian, a little green man. You guys are ridiculous. I actually have. I actually have some of those. I'll give you mine. I have one. Do you want it? Oh, cool. You fool. What were you thinking? Oh, okay. I have more, I think. I think I have more. Can I give you one right now? Oh, I gotta find his, his hot air balloon again, eh? Okay, I know where that's, where it's at. Cool. And uh, do I understand correctly, he's gonna just keep giving me monster masks every time I do that? Cause that's cool. Might be a little sneaky here. Yeah. Daniel. There we go. Thank you. F four. Seems good. Okay, so let's cook some food. Uh, go pray and get two hearts. All 
I kind of want to check out that guy again, Kilton or whatever his brother's name, right before we take on Phantom Ganon. I'd be curious to see if it is just as simple as like, hey dude, here's some, here's some things. Some bubble gems. Okay, so this is the raw. Hold. Kick. See, that gives me six. Versus three, it doubled it. Now let's hold two and see what that gives me. Presumably 12. Yep. Okay. I will have roughly 12. Oops. Hearts, so let's keep keep this up. I don't think I actually need more than 12 though. Like if I have a recipe that's gonna fill 20 hearts, I don't have 20 hearts to fill. It's gonna be a little wasteful if you ask me. I think you just keep this up, dude. Three chickens. Cook it for me. See, that's too much. We didn't need to do that. Back to 12. Six. Did I just hear Link humming Saria song? I could have swore I heard him go, ha 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 Let's add something that might give some sort of benefits, yeah? None of these really seem to be doing what you want. What's Razor Shroom? Sure. Is this gonna be both strength and defense, I hope? What do you got for me? Attack up for three minutes, that's good. Hold. Is that what this does again? Tack up for minute 50. Well, why did that happen? And it had a little different music sound too. the fire to pass time? Man, why was I wasting money at the stables last time? I'm silly. Cook. Cook. That's probably enough for now. Um, so let's 
go to Terrytown super fast and see if uh, the hot air balloon dude is there. Let's see if he gives me another piece of, of uh, monster armor. Kitoki. There's the Terry Town. What is that going so fast down there? Oh, it's the Korok seed stuff that I don't really want to mess with. I'm not seeing uh, this dude's crazy hot air balloon. But we need this. Give me some hearts. Thank you. I want that second row. Thank you. One more, please. Okay. Go bring peace to the world, he says. Do my best. Where's your brother? Oh, you have to wait till sunset, eh? Can I help you? Just set up your shop, dude. Uh, Hudson, what's what's your problem? Why, why won't you do business? I gotta go find Madison. Another day. Or wait. Did he... Okay. Tell me more about your daughter. Okay, so we got the hearts. What time is it? 7.40. The hot air balloon will be arriving very shortly. So let's go wait for him. Two and thank you. Wanted that bass. Oh well. <laughs> Okie doke. We're at the top of the hill. It's sunset. I am ready for this hot air balloon dude to make himself known. Is this one of those fallen rocks? Sure is. Let's ride it up. Why? Why not? Maybe it'll take us somewhere we need to go. We got a waterfall here we could don't have waterfall yet. Yeah. 
Oh, I think I see the hot air balloon. I kind of wish I was looking in that direction because I want to know, like, does it just literally vaporize or, you know, appear out of thin air? Or did something more specific happen? Hey, bud. Got some stuff for you. So you're just a shop? I can choose what I want? Perfect. I got four. Okay. Moblin mask. Uh, yeah. Do I not to get, I don't think I get to choose. I think you just take what he gives. That's fine. You ate it again. You're a weirdo. I got the mask. Anox toenails. Um, I actually do need those, don't I? I probably should have waited. Because does he give you stuff randomly? Or do I have to buy all these treasures one by one? See, now it has the suit. Mystic robes. Man, I want that, but I don't have the money right now. Ooh, I want that set eventually. There's another rock falling. Uh, can you tell me if there's any bubble gums or in the area? Interesting. Echo Citadel Rings. South of here. Yeah. He says there's a, a frog here. Well, that's helpful. Let's take a photo as well, just so we can use the Pura pad. And now, and now, patient viewer, we will go see if we can survive the depths of the Dooku tree. Aren't these dudes always in, uh, the frog dudes, aren't they always in a cave? Pretty sure they're always in a cave. I remember this with the cannons, because I was all impressed that there's gunpowder in the world of Zelda. We're just taking a little stroll to see if there's any caves. Yeah, I've done that shrine. I'm not seeing any caves. So I think it's time to uh, go check on Phantom Ganon. What's going on here? Oh, it's you. Uh, I don't want to do this right now. Let's go fight a fight. See if we can do this this time. We'll eat one of those attack up meals that I just made. We'll do that right now. We'll hop in, we'll just start walloping.
And dear lord, I hope it works. This is so creepy. All these dudes just standing in silence. I don't like it. What do I have this? Oh, you have it set to sunset firefly. Let's turn that off. Okay, so. We have two of these. That's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and equip the best bow we have. We have 34 arrows. This is which one had the double buff? This one has the double buff for 105 minutes. <sighs> okay. Everybody give me your shields. Okay. Phantom Ganon done. Or we're about to attack Phantom Ganon. Hey, Lightning Gal. That didn't really do much, did it? This is one way to do it. Not good. Get up. Not good. Not good. Get out of the gloom. Get out of the gloom. Woo, we did it. Well, that wasn't nearly as challenging as it had been. Dooku tree, consider, consider your tummy uh, solved. Your sink tummy has been restored. Hey dudes, how you doing? What do we got? Dark clumps. What the? Demon King bow and gloom sword. Gloom sword. You know they're no good. How are we supposed to get out of here? Oh, I can ascend. What's up here? I probably should have been up here at the very beginning, right? I could have just pecked away at those dudes with my arrows up here, unbothered by others. We're just gonna have to fast travel out, aren't we? But yeah, I think this would have been your sort of like, ooh, I could be Mr. Matrix Man if I want. Okay. 
Well, a little, little lackluster, wasn't that? <laughs> we, we spent hours grinding up to like take on this tough fight. And uh, we were okay in the end. It wasn't that difficult. Hey, what's his face? I need your help. How many seeds we have? I have five. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, I read all that. Uh, any of you guys have side quests? It's kind of the only reason I'm going to stop and talk to anyone at this moment. And I don't see it. What are you? What are you selling in here? Some mushrooms. All sorts of mushrooms. I'll take that one for free. Hey, dude. Yeah. Mm hmm. Cut scenes. This is from Breath of the Wild. Yeah? It is good to see you. Princess Zelda of Hyrule, and Link, Keeper of the Master Sword. That's my name, don't wear it out. Your blade has been fully restored. Go on then, Link. Draw it once more. Back when I had old righty. I miss old righty. Now I got some ghost dude's arm Great grafted onto my shoulder. Thank you so much. Ha ha ha. There is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. I love that his eyebrows are branches. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself. No matter how badly damaged it becomes. Especially in this world where everything breaks. <laughs> it can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. A sword that grows ever stronger. Yep. The master sword. <laughs> Currently residing in Zelda Dragon's forehead. Mm-hmm. It's moving. Because it's in a dragon. Okay. Adventure continues. Let's see if, uh, look at the clock. Oh, let's see if we can get that sword. Let's 
see, let's see. Wow, it's moving fast. I don't see the dragon. Let's get a little bit closer. There it is, there she is. Which way is, okay, she's coming towards us. Um, well, Geronimo, this isn't gonna work, but let's just see how close we can get. Actually, hold on, let's warp here. And uh, use the tower, that might work better. Do we have uh, eyes on her? Is that her? Yep, okay. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Crap, I lost sight of her. There she is. No? Yes? Right in front of us? feeling super confident about this, but. Um, let's see, hold on, hold on. Where was that piece of ground? I don't know. Hmm. Definitely gonna need some stamina. Anything I do have this. That doesn't <laughs> heal very much, does it? What about this one? Ooh, that one's gonna give me a bunch. So that's good. Okay, so maybe we do have this. Let's eat that right now. And when we're very close to running out of stamina, I'll use that endurance elixir. Like right now. I mean, do we just have to land on her? This is, I'm a little confused. Guess what we're about to do. <laughs> this is the first time I've gotten a chance to actually get on a dragon. It's something I wanted to do at episode one, like the very beginning of the game, I wanted to do this. And here we are, we're finally achieving our goal. Let's just soak it in for a second, yeah? How you doing, Zelda? Thank you for uh, this crazy, plan of yours. Lovely. So very lovely. Shall we? Don't slip off. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't slip off. I think it's time to uh, get this sword, yeah? Yeah?
Here we go. For Hyrule. that endurance elixir. Let me guess, you need two full rings to do this. We don't have it. So even though we do have this little bit of extra stamina, I think you need two full rings. Oh boy. Oh, look at the clock. What do we got? 22 minutes to do four shrines. You think, ah, crap. I think we actually need to do eight shrines. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, maybe 10 shrines that we've unlocked, but we haven't done. So let's, let's see how fast we can do these. The game is gonna take a little bit longer. Okay, I guess I didn't need to do those hearts. Oh, you know what you could do? You could swap hearts for stamina. Isn't that something you can do with that one statue? Give that a shot after this shrine. Because I get the feeling this shrine is going to be pretty easy. Fan, come back to me. Do, do, do. What? You know that worked. I'm gonna need to use this weapon. Hey. 
Thank you. Treasure, please. Thank you. I'll take them. Alright, what's next? You want me to bounce some dumb old light rays around, it would appear? How do we get over there? Can I just pick up the gate? I cannot just pick up the gate. I can ascend them. Let's just go ahead and beat this dummy up. Give me a goods. Thank you. All right. What do we got here? We got some fans. Got some dust. Got some light. Got some mirrors. We got everything we need. Do I need to... I think you need to do it up. You do. All right. How do I get back to the other side? Right, just like that. Um, gives us a fan. I feel like we might need to use this fan, yeah? Well, we'll use it this way at the very least. Thank you. Oh, we're going to do some crazy mirror bouncing, don't we? Also, this needs to be up on a thing, but I don't see no things to put it up on. Can you put it on a fan? Is that crazy? Are you going to float? Of course not, because that's crazy. Ugh, this shrine's taking just a touch longer than I would prefer. Okay, what do you want me to do here? Is this gonna work? Can't quite tell. I guess I can just hold it up with my ultra hand, right? Is it gonna stay open when I when I move? It is. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with this shrine. Let's move on. And then, yeah, I'm going to go see if I can exchange some hearts for stamina. Skip. Thank you. Get me out of here. Do, 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 do. We're out. Okay, now let's fast travel to this town, the landing spot. Look at the clock, We've got about 15 minutes left, definitely not enough time to get seven more shrines in 15 minutes that's not happening but if we can exchange two hearts for two stamina wheels i think we might be able to get that master sword on this episode and that would feel great i'd be very happy if that was possible oh dude daniel you fool i just 
wasted that little bit of stamina for no dang good reason. Yo. Yes. Take a heart. And a hundred rupees, yep. There you go. That'll give me some stamina. Uh, I have one of your essence. I want stamina. Good thing I have money. I think you need one more. Take a heart. Wait, he gave me a hundred bucks? I thought it cost me a hundred bucks. But it cost me a hundred. Okay, so it cost 20 bucks to do this. Okay, okay. Oh boy. So, um, bing bada boom, there is two full stamina wheels. Um, let's cook some endurance meals, and then I think we're uh, in a good spot to go try and get that master sword again. Wasn't there a cook down here? Yeah, right here. Materials. Stamina stuff, please. Movement speed. I have stamina stuff, right? What about shrooms? Stamella shroom. Okay, so hold, hold, and a little bit of meat sounds delicious. Oh, that barely gave me anything. Are you sure there's nothing better we have for stamina? Hmm. Okay. What happened if I just cook the mushrooms? I'm gonna do one more. Just to be safe. I do not want to fall out of the sky accidentally and uh, lose. Oh, Zelda's up there. This is actually gonna be perfect. I think. Just depends if she goes to the other side of the map and the time it takes for us to warp. But I hope I'm right. It just takes two stamina wheels to get that master sword out. It's interesting how, uh, you know, in the first game she's right above us. Um, in Breath of the Wild, you needed like 20 hearts, right? Wasn't that the thing? To get the Master Sword, and now they need the stamina. Uh, it's looking like I'm not gonna need any of those stamina potions that I just made. We're gonna just land right on her forehead. Seriously, we may not have to use a single ounce of stamina. Looks like we're gonna be pretty close to perfect. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll do this all over again, right? Ah, look at the, look at the fan, we'll do it, the camera in the other way. Ah, fancy colors. 
Ah, ooh, the stones, the music. Are we all ready for something magical to happen? Are we ready to grab it? Claim the master sword once more? I think so. I know so. I hope this isn't causing pain. Dear God, if, if, if by removing this master sword, I'm gonna hurt Zelda dragon, man, I'm not, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. More than nope, at least two. Don't you hurt her, game. We're going to bring her back. That's what heroes do. Beautiful. Get him. You will have my strength to help you through her. We will win. Link, you are our final hope. I pray. This sword reaches you in the future. Okay. Seems like the dragon's okay. Thank you, Zelda.
Another memory unlocked, eh? Oh, it's the last one. Now we just gotta know. Oh, man, we got them all, actually. Oh, my. We're almost there, guys. The game is coming close to an end. I'm feeling a little speechless. This has been an amazing adventure. For me, a, a longtime Zelda fan, I really feel as if they, uh, they still got it. They still know how to keep me engaged in all regards, in gameplay, the music, the art, even the story. I think that's probably what surprised me the most so far, is that, you know, past few Zelda games, I kind of just burned through them. I can tell you the broad strokes of what happened, but I, I, I don't really have a lot of emotional attachment to the events and the details. This one seems different. I am a bit more emotionally affected by, you know, what seems to be the current fate of Zelda. I, I've said it a couple times in this episode alone, like, I don't want this to be how it ends for her. I want to, I want to bring her back. So, uh, we're pretty much at time today. Let's take a look at the adventure log. Because I think, yeah. The main quests are all done. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, we're pretty much here at the end of the game, aren't we? I guess all that is left to do is to go to Hyrule Castle. At least story-wise, it doesn't seem like there's anything else the game is going to ask of us. We have, of course, plenty of side missions, and we just started messing around with that little hot air balloon monster dude, and that suit looks really cool. I do want that suit. And there's so many other suits that we still haven't gotten. I could play this game for, you know, another 50 hours, easy. But I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm compelled to just finish this story. I wanna find out the fate of Zelda as we watch. She disappears into the, in the clouds way off there in the distance. As we fall into shadow. And we enter the twilight of this story. And the princess flights off in the distance. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna call the episode here. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I hope you've been enjoying this. Uh, please, if you are enjoying this, uh, I would appreciate it if you'd give the video a like. Uh, if you would su subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you hit the notification bell, you'll find out when new videos come out. And uh, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this game. Uh, do you think it, it, I, I'm doing the right thing? Is it just time to, to save the princess? Or, or am I missing out on some of the best parts of this game? There's some of these sky islands that just seem crazy complex and cool. And you know, who knows if, if the main story would ever ask us to go there. We've barely been in the depths. I think there's a lot more game if I want it, but the main story, we're pretty much here. So, you know, yeah, share your thoughts in the comments. Very interested to hear. I'm just going to say thank you one more time because I, I really am full of thanks. You know, thank you so much for, for paying attention to this, to enjoying this. It means a lot. So have a good time until the next time we meet. Goodbye, everybody. See ya.